Lord Mayor of Bondale, who did so much for this community, and he was a good friend for my brother and the community, and he would like to say some words on his behalf. Jim Bedford. Thank you. Everybody, we have a heavy heart today. We lost our brother Kamal, my best friend Kamal. And I just wanted to be able to say a few words to I miss him. I miss him a lot. We learned so much together. And I think together we were able to do some good things. But the fact that we are at a loss today is it's hurtful. And I only think about he's no longer in pain. And that's, that's a good thing. The pain was very bad. But now, I think our charge now is we want to make sure we watch the family. And I know I don't have to tell you that. You know that already. And, and I know that the family's in good hands, but, but we need to maintain that. But I can tell you, for for my work with Cabal, I remember him and Dr. Muhammad showing up at my house at a candidate forum. Kamal, you know, was very active in the politics because he wanted to have the support to do the good work. And he was very successful in doing that. But I remember Dr. Muhammad and Kamal showed up at my home. I didn't know either one of them. And they just asked me questions. And I thought, wow, these guys are, have a real interest. But through that, Kamal and I were able to develop a real strong relationship beyond even the politics. So we developed a Palmdale First. That was our political action committee. We were able to, to do things with that and support candidates and, and try to do the right thing for our community in Palmdale. We weren't perfect, but I think we, our intent was right, our heart was right, and I think the community prospered from that affiliation, that friendship. And he showed me things that I didn't see as a mayor, and I was able to show him things he didn't see either. So we were two brothers from another mother, he used to say, and we just we really had a great friendship. So my heart is really broken right now because my, my friend is gone, and I, I don't and we got to find a way to keep his memory alive. And I can tell you, one way we could do that is maybe we could consider approaching the city about naming 12th Street Kamal Akatim. That will help keep the memory alive. It's close to the mosque. And I think it really reflects what Kamal's heart was in Palmdale. Now, to do that, though, we need we have to support this. So we need to get a champion on the council that would want to take that and run with it. So when the time comes, if you guys could just pay attention and then maybe at the right time we step up and we try to remember our brother Kamal through that. It's just one way. Of course our memories and our actions and the adventures that we had together, we're gonna to live with this for our life. And I know for me, I was blessed with my friend Kamal. I, I don't know how to replace all that right now. Today, maybe we just process the hurt. And out of this, the good things that Kamal stood for, we continue to carry that forward. And we just make our place where we live the best we can for our families and for our communities. And home is a better place for that. So each and every one of you, thank you. You made a big difference in Kamal's life, and certainly in mine, and I'm thankful for that. So the future, let's keep working together like Kamal would want us to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's listen to our, another good friend of Kamal, Mr. Schaefer, who joined with us in many different occasions on today's time for him to say some words to Kamal's behalf of the show. Thank you very much. I'm Mark Schaefer with the captain of Palmdale Sheriff Station. I had the pleasure of working with Kamal through the civilian or the community advisory committee. He was such an influencer in the community back in 2011. The captain at the time was Bobby Denham, and invited him onto this new founded committee called the Community Advisory Committee. His influence in the community has helped us to reach out and to communicate more effectively, and to talk, and to learn, and to listen. And the crucial thing is to listen. But Kamal was such an influence for me, such a big difference in my life as a mentor, and I really appreciated that. I, I truly empathize with you in the loss of, of Kamal, 
and look forward to continuing the relationship as we move forward. It is nice to know that he's in a better place, the pain is gone, but the memory is not. And that's what we will do and grow. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.